My name is Kate Pam, and I am the Senior Program Guide at the Ranch at Live Oak Malibu. Today, I'm going to take you through a short circuit class, ultimately four different exercises with two exercises occurring on each leg for a total of six minutes. You can do this a few times to get an actual a really long workout in, or at least as long as you want, or you can just use it as a warm-up. If anything, all you need is a weight for the class, but it doesn't even matter if you have one. And that's about it. So let's begin. Hi, we're going to get started with a lunge. So you want to make sure there's about three and a half feet between your feet, with one in front of the other. Your feet are hip width apart. Back heel is lifted and in line with your toes. Reach your tailbone down, belly button in, arms extended. Drop your back knee down. Rotate to the front leg, come back to center, up. So it's down, rotating, center, up. As you're doing this, I'm not shifting my weight forward or back at all. I'm just bending my back knee 90 degrees down towards the ground and then coming up. So my shoulders are staying right over my hips. I'm not leaning forward at all. You're staying up nice and tall. My navel is pulling in and up as I'm rotating. My shoulders are the only part that are moving. My hips are nice and square. So this is going to get a great stretch in our left hip flexors, as well as work our obliques and our stabilization of our legs. And a little bit of glutes as well. From here, we're going to come up. Rotate your legs. So your feet, all you have to do is rotate it so your feet are parallel. You're going to bend into your front, into your right knee, hands by the outer edge of your, of your shin. Back is nice and long, butt is going back. You're going to come up and cross to the left, and then sinking back down and up. So I'm not trying to round my back at all. My back is staying lifted. My butt is going to go back. And I'm going to keep trying to bend deeply into my right knee to get another angle. As I'm coming up and across, my arms are going in a diagonal. And I am doing some rotation. Remember to breathe. All these exercises. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Keep it nice and controlled. Both heels are staying on the ground. Keep trying to bend into that right knee. And we're going to come down for push-ups. So best, whether you're on your knees or on your toes, you want to have a nice straight line. Now we're going to go. Keep your belly button pulling in. Keep the control. It's perfectly fine if you drop down your knees or if you do them on your knees the entire time. Just don't try to do little push ups, try to go all the way down. Come on up for another round of lunges. This time our left foot is going to be in front. Right leg back. Again, three and a half feet between your feet. Feet hip width apart. Heels lifted. Navel pulling up. Tailbone reaching down. Arms extended. Dropping that back knee down. Rotating. Kind of the center and up. So 
So remember to keep your shoulders over your hips. That back knee is bending about 90 degrees. Try to keep your back heel lifted. And basically from your hips down are in concrete. They're not rotating. They're not moving. That's going to help keep your knees nice and safe. Sometimes coming up, rotating your legs. Hands down by the right uh, left shin. Up and across to the right, sinking back down. Remember to keep your back nice and lifted. Heart staying higher than your hips. Hips sinking down low. So you're going to get a stretch and your opposite inner thigh. Remember there is a slight rotation in your shoulders. Bending into that left knee. Coming down for the final exercise, a plank. You can do it on your wrists or on your elbows. Again, making sure that wherever you are, you have a straight line. And we're going to begin. Breathing here. Not letting your head drop or pressing it back. Pulling that belly button in, tailbone down. An option is to maybe lift your right foot off the ground for a little bit, keeping your hips nice and steady. Getting a little bit more into the glutes, into the back of our body. Switching legs, lifting your left leg, pressing back through your heels. Going for the final 15 seconds. And releasing. So from here you have the option of doing all of those exercises again. Or you can stay where you are and call it a warm-up. Have a great day. Again, my name is Kate Ham with the Ranch of Live Oak Malibu.